Good morning, friends, and welcome to Tuesday, April 5th. Our opening hymn is Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Tuesday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Mark W. Stamm. The scripture reading for Tuesday is Psalm 118, 1 and 2, and 19 to 29. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter in them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will extol you. I'll give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. God is addressing you through the scriptures, calling you to participate in what God is doing. That's never truer than in the psalm appointed for the liturgy of the psalms. Note its dynamism and allow it to carry you forward. We praise the God who saves and delivers us. We join the procession with the multitude and shout, open to me the gates of righteousness. Presume that God answers this prayer for we thank this one, and we thank this one who has become our salvation. Entering the temple, we might think that we have reached our goal, but we are not there yet. Notice the next prayer. Save us, we beseech thee, O Lord. And even then, the psalm continues to carry us forward toward the altar. What's going on here, and for what are we praying? Those words, save and salvation, are a major part of our faith language. But perhaps we're only beginning to understand what they mean. Sometimes we speak of salvation as if it were a credential. In its worst case use, we, it is sometimes like a ticket to heaven that some of us receive and other unfortunate souls do not. But what if salvation means far more? I encourage you to hear it as God's opening intention to bless the world, using us as willing instruments of that blessing. In the days ahead, some churches will follow ancient precedent and hold palm processions outside. But I invite you to do your own walk through your community with or without a palm branch. As you walk, notice your neighborhood and those who live there. Imagine their lives and hold them before God's altar. Pray for them and for yourself. Our reflection time for Tuesday is brought to you by Esther Knopsinger, and it is This Is The Day.
us pray. O oh God, we give you thanks for our neighbors and our neighborhood. Help us to see that in you, the whole world is one neighborhood. Amen.